there's something about a lip co uh, combination that a, one of your co guy co mm -hmm. <laughs> hey everybody welcome back and today it is time for another five products video and this time it's all about my top liquid lipsticks from the drugstore, matte liquid lipsticks. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, the first product I have, I mentioned in the What's New at the Drugstore um, lip product video, and this is from L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Pro Matte Lip Gloss in Forbidden Kiss. I freaking love this. This is a great matte liquid lip product for people who do not like that drying, crazy, cracking on your lips liquid lipstick formula. These are not transfer proof. They're not going to set down completely matte. However, they are stunning, beautiful, have almost a cooling plumping sensation on the lips. You almost forget that they're there. And because the they're that they're there. And because the formula is so substantial, it just you have that feeling that it's you're secure enough where it's not going to go flying out of your lip line. Just a great, great product at the drug drugstore absolutely love it and i just you know me i love these deep dark bambi colors and this is just a beautiful berry color it's not too brown it's not too red it's just a gorgeous deep pinky wine color absolutely love in love all right the next product i want to talk about is from nyx and this is one of the nyx soft matte lip creams this one is in copenhagen i love this this is a ride or die deep dark vampy lip color for me it's so good this color is just I think so beautiful because it is deep and dark and vampy without being too brown without being too blackened without being too on the purple side so it's not quite as intimidating and a little bit more wearable than um, some of their lip colors like Transylvania or Vancouver which are a little bit more intense this, than this it's just beautiful now with these liquid um, with the NYX soft matte lip creams I love wearing them over a more emollient lip um, liner the Jordana easy liner for lips best two dollars lip liner on the market go and buy them because with these they just that combination together is magical so I love to wear this one with Cabernet from Jordana and that is a lip combination that when I wear it I have guy co-workers stopping me and be like what are you wearing on your lips because it just looks good I mean so that's saying something so this is just an absolute must have product for me and you guys know these have been out for a while these are not transfer proof they don't set down completely matte what i mean let me rephrase that they're not transfer proof and they don't completely set but they do dry down matte they can be a little bit of a pain to reapply now if you wear these over a lip liner it's not going to be so bad because they're going to blend in just a little bit easier they're going to wear, wear a little bit more evenly throughout the day and fade a little bit more evenly so that's my trick for the soft matte lip creams the next product i want to talk about is from jordana and this is one of their new sweet cream matte liquid lip colors and this one is in tiramisu this formula is so good it is just, I would say, a traditional liquid lipstick formula. It's thin, it sets so quickly, and it's just a beautiful everyday color. It's just that kind of perfect balance of pink and brown, and I think it's just gonna be flattering on a variety of skin tones. It's so pretty. I've been wearing this one like crazy. This um, product, this formula, I have to say, I'm very very impressed with for five dollars so again it's a very thin liquid lipstick formula you put it on your lips and I find that I don't even realize I'm wearing it throughout the day it's that comfortable it does set down matte it does transfer but not um, only if you're eating or doing like some hardcore drinking making out that kind of thing so it's gonna wear really well throughout the day I find with this one as opposed to many other liquid lipsticks when you go to reapply it you don't have to go through the whole rigmarole of wiping it off and putting it back on you can just apply it and it's not gonna get cakey or flaky or build up and get gunky so I'm just really really impressed with this formula and I think this shade is just stunning now on the flip side of that um, easy to wear comfortable liquid lip uh, stick is this one this is milani's amore matte lip cream in desire this shade is beautiful this formula it goes on just like the jordana it's very thin it's gonna set and once it sets it's done um but as to where the jordana is very easy to wear very comfortable 
This is a pain in the ass. This formula is not easy to wear. You're gonna have to deal with that weird inner lip thing. Um, it's gonna crack, it's gonna feel dry. When you reapply it, you're gonna have to completely take it off and reapply it. I mean, it is a pain in the ass. But, all of that being said, the color is so stunningly beautiful. And I'm gonna say this for, I have three of them. I have Lust and, um, I can't remember the other ones. I have like Lust and um, Amore and, and desire but this color is the most beautiful you know kind of that glamorous high Hollywood 50s lip kind of feel going on you put this on and you just it just is gorgeous it's so flattering it is a true red I would say it doesn't lead to blue or to orange. When I was talking about the Rimmel Lasting Finish and Kiss of Life in my other video and I said it was one of my top two favorites, this is the other one. So despite the fact that it is just, makes you wanna throw it through a window sometimes, the color and the effect it gives you is so stunning that I'm willing to overlook that and I just love it. So if you are a person who is not intimidated by a product that might be a little bit more difficult to wear and maintain throughout the day, you're probably going to like this lip because it is beautiful. All right, the last one I want to talk about is the color that I'm wearing on my lips today, and this is from BH Cosmetics. This is their BH Cosmetics liquid lipstick line, and this is in the shade Muse. I am in love with this shade. Now, when I got this shade, I, I thought, okay, well, this is, you know, I'm going to be brave and try it. Try it. This is one of those grayish, what do they call them, grayish, those beigey grays with a little bit of mauve that are so on trend right now that are beautiful. And when I saw it, I was like, I don't know if this is going to look good on me. And then I put it on and I was like, okay, I love it. Love it. I love it. I love it with a cool toned look. I love it with a more warm toned look, which is what I'm wearing today. It is just stunning. I mean, and the formula itself is comfortable. It's very much like the Jordana Soft Matte Lip Cream. I can put it on and then I can reapply it and it doesn't get cakey or gunky or crusty and it just wears so well throughout the day. Plus the color is just so, so flattering. I'm really, maybe I'm tooting my own horn here, so if I am, I apologize, but I really like this look of this lipstick on me and I just think it's beautiful. A little bit outside of the box because you know, no, I like those kind of brownie nudes. I like the deep vampy colors and I like the red. So this is a little, this kind of cool tone lipstick is a little bit out of my normal, you know, daily what I'm wearing, but I really like it and I'm really, really glad I picked up this color. So if you're looking for, you know, that kind of on trend, cool toned, gray beige lipstick, maybe you should try and um, use from BH Cosmetics. They've got a beautiful array. I actually have three other ones that I really like, but this one is my favorite. All right, guys, and I'm totally cheating today because there are two more lipsticks that I want to talk about. And y'all are probably going to be like, Heather, those are not liquid lipsticks. I know. But the reason why I'm including them in this video instead of the other one is because they have the same benefits and the same problems as a liquid lipstick. And those are the new NYX Full Throttle lipsticks, in, um, which is their new like waterproof lipstick. This comes in a traditional bullet. However, the way this applies, the way it feels on the lips, the way it sets, and the problems that you can have, the problems and the benefits are the same as a liquid lipstick. So this is like a liquid lipstick for people who don't like liquid lipsticks. This is such a good lipstick. Don't get me wrong. Yes, it is. It does have its, you know, detractions, but the good override that for me. Um, so the two colors I have are Kiss the Dust, which is this one right here, which you can see I have already put a dent in. Beautiful, gorgeous, just everyday brownie nude that I just can't get enough of. That's so pretty. And then this one right here, which is called Loaded, which is just an unbelievably gorgeous, just berry shade. I love it. I love both of these. These have such an interesting formula. When you put them on your lips, they feel almost slippery. It's, it's like a liquid lipstick formula. They slide onto your lips just like a liquid lipstick would, like that same formula. That's all I can, that's the only way I can describe it. They are gonna fully set within a minute and they are like 95% transfer proof. And unless you are doing some heavy duty, eating, drinking, making out, these are gonna stay on your lips all day long. Now, for the most part, they wear really well and the color fades evenly throughout the day. The problem where that I have with these is that right around that inner lip, 
just like with most liquid lipsticks, you're gonna get that weird ring throughout the day. And it's hard to reapply these because they tend to kind of get that kind of gunky, you know, almost overly layered feeling on the lips, just like a liquid lipstick. However, my trick with these are, and even to some extent, the, um, Amore Matte Lip Creams. My trick with these are is that when they start to do that, what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of chapstick on my finger and just kind of massage it in my lips to break up the liquid lipstick because that kind of oily um, moisturizing agent in the lipstick, in the chapstick, will kind of start breaking that down a little bit to where you can manipulate it, even it out, and then I'll reapply over it. And that's kind of how I make these work. So when I say that they're a pain in the butt. They are. They're not going to be the easiest lip liquid lip products or lip products in the world to work with, but the colors on these, these two especially, are so beautiful. Totally worth it. All right, guys, so those are just my favorite five, seven <laughs> liquid lip products in the drugstore right now as far as mattes go. I love these. You can see the gloss hasn't set yet. It, it Gloss takes about 30 minutes to set, but all the other ones are set. They're completely matte, beautiful, just gorgeousness. And so if you are looking to try some liquid lipsticks or, you know, maybe you're just looking for some suggestions because we all need more makeup. There you go. But I hope this uh, video was helpful. Again, thank you to the Violet Revolution. Thank you for suggesting this. I'm having so much fun going through my collection and really kind of saying, well, what do I really like? So, um, but yeah, so tomorrow is going to be blushes and then I'm gonna be doing eyeshadows and then I'm gonna be doing foundations or I'll do foundations and I'll do the grand finale with eyeshadows because since we know that's what everybody, if you're like me, I, I eyeshadows are like, my thing so i might save that till till the end so be patient and stick with me but i hope you guys have an amazing day have a rocking week and i'll see you next time guys bye